Hello everyone, I am V. Abhishek, I have secured 79th rank All India in the recently concluded civil services examination. I am before you in the via Shankar Academy platform to just see how to study or how to maximize our potential in the last 30 days to the prelims examination for which I will share a proper strategy and also we will delve deep in how to eliminate the options in the prelims examination. Let us just see how to utilize the last 30 days to prepare for the preliminary examination. The most important aspect of preparation is revision of current affairs. These are all the subjects that we need to have a deeper insight. Polity. Polity is very important because at any given instant we will be having 5 to 10 questions in polity. Economics and agriculture, these are the two subjects that are linked together, have a proper fused approach to study these two subjects. Security and international relations, these are again linked because we will be having questions based on ISIS or their area of operation where international relation and security based map questions can also dominate. Schemes and reports are very important because every year we will definitely have two questions based on schemes and reports. For all these current affairs material you can follow Shankar IS Academy's IS Parliament portal previously prepared all materials which will come handy in case of last moment revision. We will now move into static subject revision. Geography is a very important subject considering UPSC. For geography, prepare NCERTs 11th and 12th standard and in 12th standard focus only on India people and economy and not on the other book. This India people and economy gives you a proper orientation about geography, especially about Indian geography. Certificate of physical geography is needed for general understanding of geographical features and landforms. Map based question, as I said previously, map based question is essentially linked to international relations. Focus maps that were recently in OG, especially in the Hindu newspaper and also in various current affairs based materials. History. History, we have ancient, medieval, modern and art and architecture. For ancient India, utilize the old NCRT textbook in which instead of going through all the other concepts available, focused most on the Gandhara, Mathura and other art and architecture, literature, science and technology like the Gupta metallurgy and other base subject, religion, architecture. These are generally available based on the Harappan architecture or architecture of the ancient South India, ancient North India, Nagara, Dravida and Vesara architecture and cultural development. In cultural development, the philosophy is one of the most important which is available in the ancient NCRT textbook. For medieval India, Pala, Rashtrakuta, Chora and Mughal administration is the most important. We can have terms from the medieval Indian history especially like the various category in which Chora divided their nation like Valanadu, Mandalam or Mughal administration like Bukti. So, we can have all kinds of terms that are available in the medieval India and also the entry of European powers like Portuguese, Danish, Dutch, English all the powers that entered India during the medieval India and Bhakti Sufi movement they are very important. For modern India it is very simple focus on the old NCRT and spectrum summary that is more than enough for the preliminary examination. Polity, Lakshmigant is very important in which give more focus for the fundamental rights that is part 3, DPSP and fundamental duties. Along with that focus on the parliament and the state legislature that is available and judiciary with all these concepts give importance to the constitutional and non-constitutional bodies. Environment, one step solution for all environment based question is Shankarais Academy book plus recent current affairs especially climate change. Economics, Shankar IS Academy book for generic concepts and economy and key concepts given by Shankar Ganesh sir plus focus on GST and other current affairs. Apart from that one of the most important part of the preliminary preparation is attending a number of test question papers that are available to us solving the question paper and checking whether we are getting more than 100. Please have 100 plus course in all these test question papers as a benchmark so that definitely we will end up getting more than 110 in the preliminary examination. Now let us just see how to eliminate the given options to 0 1 answer. This is because in UPSC for most of the question we may not be exactly knowing the answer for which elimination technique is the most important. Let us just take this question 
that was available in the civil services examination 2018 preliminary paper which of the following has have immensely dried up this is the most important key term in this particular question rlc this is a known fact because that is the most dried up lake in the entire planet now let's move to the other question paper so one should be there we can eliminate b and c either it should be one or it should be one and three we will take lake baikal in newspaper this term was invoked that Lake Baikal is shrinking but the question is immensely shrunk and Lake Baikal is one of the most largest freshwater so by any chance this might have not dried up so we can directly zero in answer A which is the actual answer. We will move to the next question from the same question paper regarding Woods dispatch which of the following statements are true grants in aid system was introduced establishment of universities was recommended. English as a medium of instruction at all levels of education was recommended. These are the three options that are being given to us. Let us just take the third point. Considering the literacy levels at 1850 or 1830s when this was in vogue, this can never be a proper answer. English at a medium of instruction at all levels could not have been recommended because there were no proper English teachers available. So considering this as a logic, we can eliminate the third option zeroing 1 and 2 as the answer. So, there is no need for us to know all the three options, just eliminate the option that is somewhat little absurd to the given question and give the other two as the answer. Now, we will move to a digital India which is one of the most favorite part of the preliminary examination also for the mains. The question is which of the following is are the aim or aims of digital India plan of government of India. Formation of India's own internet companies like China did. See India is a democracy, China is somewhat like a dictatorship. So, since India is a democracy, India will never go for its own company like China did. So, we can eliminate this option. Automatically, option A and option D goes off. Let us see the option 3. Connect many of our villages to internet and bring Wi-Fi to many of our schools, public places and tourist centers. Definitely, this will be true because that is what the essentially the Bharat Net is doing. Bharat Net, Railwire are doing this. So, this should be an answer. So, 3, we have both option 3 in both B and C. We will move to 2. Establish a policy framework to encourage overseas multinational corporations collect big data to build data center within the geographical boundaries. This can affect the cloud storage that is being given at present and apart from that only recently B N Sri Krishna committee has recommended something similar to this whereas Digital India is a little older plan. So definitely with this logic 3 should be the only available answer and 3 is the answer. Now we will move to a polity question. Which of the following are regarded as main features of rule of law? Limitation of powers. Yes, limitation of power is the most important in rule of law and that is actually democracy and judiciary. Equality before law which is the article 14 of the Indian constitution. People's responsibility to the government, liberty and civil rights. In a democracy it is actually the vice versa. Government is responsible to people and not people are responsible to government. So directly we can eliminate the option 3. Limitation of power should be included because there is like a basic, so option C should be the answer. There is no need for us to look for any other options, just C, 3 will be eliminated, 1 should be included, so 1 to 4 is the answer. Which of the following is are the possible consequence of heavy sand mining in river beds, decreased salinity in river, pollution of ground water, lowering of water table. So, pollution of ground water is the most important negative impact of sand mining. So, 2 should be there. So, y, A and C automatically goes off. Either it should be 2 and 3 or 1, 2, 3. So, 3 is automatically there because it is there in both option B and D. Decreased salinity in river. It is a known fact that heavy sand mining will always lead to negative impact. River is already pH neutral or it is a fresh water. So, a negative impact will be like increased salinity. So, in any given fact this option is wrong, so answer will be 2 and 3 that is B. So, with this I conclude the basic approach that is there for the preliminary examination. I suppose everybody will be doing this and all the best for the examination.